don't focus on like same thing goes for running a marathon right you, you got to start with the first step you know it's the same thing with this you just have to get started and the purpose of that first one isn't to be perfect it's not to be great it's literally to just be the first one it's just to take the first step it makes total sense it, and, and on the creator side if a creator's listening and being like man i want to work with these brands do you is do you look for any specific requirements what what should be a create like what should a creator be thinking about what should they be doing yeah so there's a lot of creators are very like i guess worried about the number of followers that they have they're like oh like is twenty thousand followers enough like is eighty thousand followers enough and the thing is we've landed creators deals all different sizes right million followers half a million followers all the way down to a thousand followers right so like i've i've landed brand deals for content creators that have i think like a thousand, fifteen hundred, somewhere in that ballpark, right? And really what the brand is looking for is can this creator make the style of video that I want, right? And and what is the the chance of success with them? So even if you have, you know, a hundred thousand followers, one thing that brands really look for is that you have a lot of tools in your toolkit, right? You're not someone who's just doing the videos that are 10 seconds with the text on the screen and the trending sound, right? If that's all you do it's much harder to work with you because that's all you can do, right? And from a marketing standpoint, there's, there's, there's not much room there, right? You can, you can just do that one style of video. But if you're someone that can do that style of video, you can speak to the camera. That's another huge one, right? Brands want someone that can speak to the camera because that just opens so many more possibilities if you can do that. And a lot of creators can't. Not that they can't, they don't, right? And if you don't show that on your account at all, it's a little bit harder. So they're looking for people who can do all of that. They can talk to the camera. They can give like educational tips. They can be like a little bit uh, emotional on camera, right? They can show some insecurities. They can show that they're authentic. They can do the day in the life. They can do all of these different things. So just to kind of sum, sum up that whole thing, like they're looking for someone who is very dynamic. They're looking for someone who can do a lot. Love it. Love it. And to piggyback off that, like you said, not a lot of people put themselves out there and really film themselves talking. What, what do you recommend for those people that might be listening and, and don't are still insecure and they don't like to put themselves out there and they're afraid of filming themselves and maybe they haven't even started on TikTok and, and still kind of, you know, deciding if they want to or not? What do you tell that person? Yeah, I mean, the, the first one's always the hardest one, right? It's like... It's like once you do it once, you like use that muscle for the first time. And it's like, it's gonna take some time. It's so difficult. Like even when I first got on TikTok, I remember prior to that, like I had filmed so many videos. I'd filmed YouTube videos before. I'd filmed a ton of like video ads on YouTube and Facebook. And it wasn't that I was not comfortable in front of the camera. It was that this was something new. So like, even though I'd filmed a ton of other things before, filming that first TikTok was so daunting for me and like, it, it, I knew I had to do it and it sat there for like two weeks and I was like, ah, oh, like I got to record this first one, like writing off so many drafts and the first time I'm trying to do it, it just feels so awkward and so forced. And so, yeah, it's really just like just putting that first one out there and not really worrying what the results are. Like that first one, like the goal of your first video that you put out there isn't to get you leads. It's not to go viral. It's not to connect with any brands. It's to start, right? Like, like don't focus on like, same thing goes for running a marathon, right? You, you got to start with the first step. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the same thing with this. You just have to get started. And the, the purpose of that first one isn't to be perfect. It's not to be great. It's literally to just be the first one. It's just to take the first step. Love that. Love that. I always tell people, especially starting out, like you got to understand and acknowledge the fact that your first 100 videos are probably going to be pretty shit. So, but if mm -hmm. you go in that mindset and you just put your head down and, and focus on making those first 100 videos and posting them, you're going to be way better off and you're going to already be growing. So uh, that, that's a that's a great point. Um, I, want to, I want to add something else too yeah. there. I think that the expectation going into it is super important because like, okay, we just talked about the first step in creating the first video, which is huge. But then the next part is, okay, now can you do that 100 more times? And so if you go into it with the expectation of like, Oh, I'm going to make, you know, like four videos a week and like, I'm going to blow up and my business is going to be great. And like all this stuff. And like, I'm going to sell my thing. Like if you go into that, if you go into it with that mindset and then like video number 29 comes around and you're still at 18 followers, you're going to quit, yeah. you know? So like going into it with like, okay, I'm doing this for the long run and like, I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to keep getting better every video. 
and coming into it with the mindset of like, I'm not doing this for just like initial short term success. I'm not coming into this and just trying to like sell something, but I'm coming into it with like, I'm just going to make super valuable videos. Like, honestly, I think that creators shouldn't even try to monetize until they have like 5,000 followers, like at a minimum, like you shouldn't even really be thinking about it. You should just think about growing and just like providing valuable information. Yeah. 100%. I always tell people like, there's no such thing as monetizing too late, but there is such thing as monetizing too early. Cause if you monetize too early, people point. are going to view you, view you as a sellout, as someone that's just not actually to create a positive impact on the platform. And it's that positive impact that's going to lead them to purchase whatever you're providing and, and support you. I